Okay, now we'll move on this part of the show where we, we take a look at our, our special guest, Steve. Now, you had obviously an incredible career here at Leicester City. I'm sure you, you look back on it all very fondly. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, roller coaster ride from start to finish. <laughs> it, it really, really was. Um, you know, the sendings off, the injuries, the, the goals, the last minute ones, the, you know, it just incredible. It really was. You mentioned a, a couple of moments there. Is, is there anything or any time match particularly that you, that you look back on and you pinpoint and think that was it, that was the moment I enjoyed the most playing for, for Leicester? There, there were so many, you know, um, and believe it or not, obviously Derby is the one game that took this football club into uh, the Premiership for the very first time in the history of the club. Now, scoring two goals in that you'd think would be the ultimate, but... You know, that, that Arsenal equaliser, the Fulham one, the, the them mm. goals were special, you know, the meaning of it. Uh, lifting the cup, you know, the Coca-Cola Cup. So they all kind of rivaled that. But obviously you've got to put your hand on your heart and say that that was the one. Two goals, obviously, in, in the game. Just seeing them them now, I mean... Yeah, they um, weren't great goals, were they? But, <laughs> you know, uh, it's right what, what they meant. Right, what they meant. Right, right, right foot, foot to finish. Yeah, got to be in the right place at the right time. And, uh, you know, I was played um, up front. I'd not played all season. So it, it was incredible for me to actually be playing. And, um, you know, it, I didn't. you don't care about what how you score goals at Wembley. And uh, it was just an amazing... Uh, Day and uh, and relief for myself through a, a crucial injury that nearly took me out of the final. Well, particularly that that second one, as we saw, was, was yeah. a striker's finish, really, wasn't it? And, and yeah, poacher's who, finish, yeah. I'd say. Yeah, um, <laughs> Tony. Yeah, I, I can still on. see you know me me knocking it down to Joach, him putting it wide, and Grayson whipping a, a great ball in. And and when Ormond Droid edited that, I must admit, I thought that was in, and m momentum took me, carried me into that position, and and it just fell nicely. So, uh, yeah, it was. Unreal. You mentioned that being a, a poacher's finish, but really you were a, a defender, weren't you, that, that, yeah. that played up front a lot in your career. It wasn't sort of going up front in the last five minutes of a game when you're chasing it. There were times when you were sort of regularly played up front. Was it weird going from sort of being a, a central defender then the next week being, being a striker? What, what was that I suppose sort of it was. I mean, like? in training I used to play up front all the time. I hated playing at the back. There's so much pressure, you know, on, on defenders. As, as Jerry knows, you're always crucified if you make a mistake. Now, me and Brian Little in training used to train together and I think that's where he, he saw that I, I could play. But I ended up, I, I got two red cards in a week. I think it one was at Wolves, one was at Charlton. And um, when I'd finished my suspension, he got me in and said, look, I'm going to shove you up front out of the way. You can't get booked <laughs> even there. And uh, <laughs> so it started from there. And I scored, uh, I think it was seven in eight or eight in nine. You know, it was just unbelievable. It just hit it off with Joachim alongside me, you know, a big striker who'd, who'd win the headers and, and, a, and a lot of pace with Julian Joachim. And uh, we actually used to, you know, we, we could read each other pretty well. And... Um, we we both between us we were smashing goals in everywhere so it, it was a great season in '93 I think it was we got to the Swindon final I scored 16 goals that that year a lot of them up front so it was uh, it was amazing it really was I actually played against you that season I was at Barnsley at the time and Leicester Bansley. came to York well Barnsley and and Joe Chim and Steve were playing up front and I think they beat us but they beat us two one or one 0 it was a really tight game but the difference I tell you was the two guys up front, Walsh and Joachim. Uh, they were definitely the difference in the team. And Leicester had a good side. Don't get me wrong, there's some good players in the team, but the formidable partnership that they had that season with these two guys yeah, we, did. we didn't like going to Yorkshire, did big Jerry? <laughs> but, uh, we had to sort him out once and that was it. But uh, no, it was great days. Yeah. I suppose one place. almost more, more for Jerry, the, the defender of the opponent playing against you. Do you think because you were sort of a, a defender for so long and then went up front and had that success, was it? do you think because other defenders weren't expecting to, to sort of... A challenge um, like that, do you think? Yeah, but Yang, you know the goals we scored were, you know, and Jerry later in his career he started to score a lot of goals from from corners and free kicks and heading our heading ability was was in them days, you, you know, we were unbeatable and um, so it was a skill really, you know, and we could, we got feet that we could play and and and, and score goals with your feet because a few of them I, I did score quite a few, believe it or not, uh, decent goals with with me uh, left foot, yeah. <laughs> not not many with me right. But um, we had a skill and it was a head inability and uh, we were brave with that. You'd go in where it hurts, you'd cut your eyes, you wouldn't care, you know, to score a goal. And that's how uh, you're feared, by, by just running in from the edge of the box. You're a bit like the England team started to think a few of, a few of you going in.
training and we'd, we'd all, you know, imagine me, him and Matt Elliott coming at you. Yeah, it was uh, three big lads and wherever the ball went, we had, um, it was a weapon and it, and it worked really well. So you play to your to strengths, whether you call it long ball um, or what, it was, it was, it worked for us and, um, and that's because we were brave and we were tough. So talk us through that, that Arsenal goal then. You mentioned it a little Arsenal, bit before. Yes, in, yeah, in never the forget show. that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it was and, great. And that heading ability of I mean, yourself and that. <laughs> you know what? When uh, the, the question, we always laugh about Matty Elliott and, and where Bergkamp, that skill was unbelievable. And uh, I'm just glad that, uh, you know, what I did in the first minute because uh, Bergkamp was on my side of the pitch and I just give him a bit of a nudge with my head, you know, as you do, Jerry, yeah, a bit of a little. Scottish kiss. Yeah. And, um, he, he, he looked at me, gone out, did Bergkamp, and he said, you're crazy. And he went over to Elliot's side, and that's the best thing I've ever done in football, I can tell you, because <laughs> he's, he's just ripped him class, apart. And I, and I could see his movement. I thought, I'm going to have to slow this down, so I just slow him down a bit. So I just <laughs> give him a headbutt. And uh, in them days, you got away with it, even though the cameras were, the sky cameras were coming in. But, uh, you know, and, and luckily for me, I had a bit of a, I had a bit of a battle with Ian Wright, and he was substituted, and it gave me a lot of verbals, and so did Vieri and a few few others so I was hated a little bit with the Arsenal players and uh, scoring that goal yeah it was I'm, I'm sure Spencer Pryor when he headed that back across oh. meant to head it into the net not to me uh, you know but it, it felt perfect and you, you know for me I couldn't it, you know it was uh, mandatory there but uh, the celebration tells you everything right to Ian Wright and just tell yeah. him what, what, what I thought of him <laughs> and then it all kicked off after I've yeah. got a, I got done I had to go down to Last Lancaster Gate with Martin O'Neill and that was a that was a story but we'll, we'll have to go into that another time it was a classic but uh, Anyway, it was a, it was just a, a moment I'll never forget. We have to say that must be one of the, the greatest one twos in football ever. That the header to, to, to Martin. <laughs> Spenner never meant that to come back to me. I'm convinced, but still, it, it looked like it. <laughs> <laughs> and Jerry, you said that you obviously joined the season after, and yeah. nothing as entertaining as that happened, did it? Well, well, no, no. <laughs> you just mentioned the Fulham goal, not against Arsenal, Oof. admittedly, but the season we won the cup in 2000. You know, we had this unbelievable tie at Fulber Street against uh, oh. against Fulham, and we were dead and buried. We nearly gone out there, and uh, we were three one down. And Martin's running the changes, and Marshy came on, Marshy came on, Ian Marshall, and Marshy came off the bench. And within, no, I started that game. No, you started the game. Started didn't, sorry, yeah, you did. I, I, at centre half, I, I, I passed you. Remember when I, yeah. I tore all my groin and I tried to pass you because I couldn't kick the ball down the line, the ball, yeah. and, I, and they, they they made it two 0 It was my mistake right. into you. Oh no. And, uh, and Marshy then, you know, we were, I was shoved up front then. You shoved to, up front, weren't yeah. you? Yeah. I had no way again. Up, <laughs> set Marshy up with one. I added it to Marshy and Marshy set me up for the equaliser. equaliser. So that, 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 that made it 3-3. Three, three. Two all. Two, two all. And then went to extra time. Extra time and then it was 3-3 three, three and extra time. Yeah. And then through the penalties. That's right. Which obviously we won. I didn't take one, thankfully. You know, I didn't play for about eight weeks. After that, I'd torn all my groin and people didn't realise. So, yeah. Anyway, we'll... Uh, there yeah. you go. Mark Lamar. <laughs> Played with a torn groin. Yeah.